Yeah. Okay, guys, today I'm here with Renan Matar. Renan is a brown belt from Fabrinha, and he moved here to New York like six months ago or so in July. And uh, Renan passed as a brown belt from Fabrinha, and he has a really good spider. So he was one of the main guys at Fabrinha's, and uh, he, he moved here and he's competing. He started to compete all the tournaments as well. And guys, super, super good spider. And one day I was walking here to school. And I saw him doing some very good uh, drills from Spider Guy that probably got from Fabrinha. So let's see here how he does it. And uh, he's a very high level. He got like he, he got he was a medalist in the Pan Ams. He won Europeans already. So super super high level. Let's see how he does these drills here. So there you go. So one thing. Uh, you know, I play spider guard regularly in training, and I really like to drill the fundamentals, and what I mean by the fundamentals is really my hip movement. So when I drill it, I'm going to over-exaggerate. So before I extend to the side, I'm really going to get my hips all the way over. And when I want to switch sides, before I turn, I'm going to lift my hips. And when I lift my hips, it's going to allow me to move my hips much more smoothly. And see how I'm really getting over? So every time I move, I really want to scoot my hips all the way to the side. I want to get completely lateral this way. So I'm lifting, I lift, and I kick, I lift, and I kick. So again, hips are going all the way to the side. Lift, lift, and lift. Okay, so that's a good drill to work on my hip movement, which is essential to have a good spider card. So once I get that down, I'm going to keep that motion going, keep the motion going, and then when I'm ready to break, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just release this foot off his bicep. Release, and once I release the foot, I'm gonna pull and kick simultaneously. Because if I just pull, it's gonna be hard to break. If I just kick, it's gonna be hard to break. But if I do it at the same time, I'll be able to break. Okay? And then I'm gonna get the same hip motion again that I had earlier. So I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna chop and lock the omoplata. So the same as that hip motion. Let's see it again. So again, I'm gonna lift, lift. Lift. When I'm ready, again, I'm going to release my foot, pull and kick simultaneously to get the break. There we go. I'm going to pull the arm forward to me. Now, same as that kind of motion as before. Lift, turn, and chop. And lock on the bottom. Yeah, guys, as you can see here, the spider guard problem is like very, very good because this that he said about his hip movement. So you can see that when he moves hips uh, side to side, look how high goes his hip. So I'm every time like kind of like attaching him on, hip, on, on him. So I never have that space to break the postures and start passing. And uh, uh, use that he does like to break the grip here, it's very good because I remember back in Sao Paulo, Michael Lang he used to do that a lot as well. He would always like stay in this situation, break the grip, and he would hit the arm bar from here. But in this case, Hannah, it's like very like hitting the omoplata. So it's another option as well. So let's see one more time the full drill here. So again, I'm lifting, trying to see good fundamentals, lifting my hips. When I'm ready to break, release the foot, pull and kick at the same time. Pull the arm to me so I get a good angle here. Again, I'm lifting my hips, turning the corner, chopping down, locking the omoplata. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, brother. Thanks.